Welcome back. Two life sentences. That's what former Bank of Athens treasurer Vincenzo Pitrapalo gets for killing his father and his wife. The High Court in Johannesburg found him guilty of premeditated murder. Heidi Jokos is following the story for us. She joins us now live. So Heidi, the judge didn't hold back here regarding his impressions about Petra Palo as he handed down sentence. Yes, indeed, Shahan. So we do understand that the Johannesburg High Court has handed down two life sentences for uh, Vincenzo Petra Palo, and these um, two life sentences will run concurrently. And this is um, because he has been found guilty of premeditated murder of his father and of his estranged wife. He's also been given 50 years for being in possession of two firearms um, uh, for, uh, unlicensed firearms uh, for also defeating the ends of justice and uh, for not having a license um, for firing those firearms so um, the 15 years five years and two three year sentences will also run concurrently um, but th the court saying that um, uh, Vincenzo Peter Paolo was evil he was a pathological liar and uh, he did not take the courts into his context Confidence to explain exactly what the motive was for him killing his 90-year-old uh, father in his sleep. Um, initially, the family thought that this was a botched um, robbery, um, but later on, when Vincenzo Petrapaolo murdered his wife eight months uh, later and shot her nine times uh, within two minutes, they realized it was indeed the same gun that he stole from his father's safe that uh, he used to uh, murder his father as well as his wife. But let's listen to what the judge had to say about this murder. Ample, ample, ample time to reflect. And when he actually obtained the op opportunity to murder his wife, he did it in the most callous of circumstances and manners. This court has been involved in criminal trials as a, a judge and as a legal representative for 50 years, 50 years, since 1975, I have never, ever, ever seen the cruelty which was meted out to the wife of the defendant. And family, what has um, Petra Paolo's family have to say about this outcome? So the family is extremely relieved that the matter um, has concluded. Uh, it's a chapter in their lives that they want um, ended because it's been a long, long um, couple of years. Of course, this happened in 2017, and Vincenzo Petrapaolo was trying to uh, delay this case by all means. He constantly changed legal teams. He then asked for social workers, and then initially he denied this, and then uh, he said he was guilty of killing his wife, and then he denied it again. So it's been a very long couple of years for the family. Uh, one can only imagine how they feel seeing a loved one um, murder their father and then later on murder um, their estranged wife. Uh, and of course, um, they had no idea that they were basically living uh, with a murderer, given the fact that they had no idea what happened to their father and later on realized that it was in fact Vincenzo Petrapalo who murdered uh, their father and later on uh, murdered um, the, the wife. So uh, we got a chance to speak to the brother of Vincenzo Petrapalo and of course saying he's very relieved. Let's listen to that. Sentencing was, um, I believe, appropriate. Um, the judge made a, a good call. Um, he, from what I could hear, he um, went through all the evidence. He left nothing out. Um, I believe that uh, the punishment fits the crime. It's not going to bring anybody back, not my father. Not my late sister-in-law. It's where we are. Um, justice was done today.